Probability by Alyssa Theophanis, William Smithwick, and Brianna Tuck. The Origin of Probability Probability originated from a gambler's dispute in 1654, led by Blasé, Pascal, and Perry de Fermat. The game consisted of throwing a pair of dice 24 times and determining whether or not the gam whether or not to gamble money over the occurrence of at least one double six during the th 24 throws. Pascal and De Vermont believed that despite gambling rules, calculus indicated that this bet would not be profitable. Christian Heibniz learned of this in 1657 and published the first book on probability called De ratio sinis in ludo aeli. The problem of points. The problem of points was first discussed by Luca Pacioli in 1949. The problem of points was this. Suppose two gamblers have agreed to toss a fair coin until one of them has won a specified number of tosses. Each player bets the same amount on the game, and they agree that the first player to win three tosses gets the stakes. The game commences when the first player winning twice and the second player winning once. The gamblers are ready to toss the coin again, but unfortunately the game comes to an abrupt halt and cannot be finished. The question posed by Demeray was how to split the plot, how to split the pot between the two participants. Since the player who had won the most points is closer to winning, how do we quantify the differential? I first Pascal questioned whether or not he should consider all possible outcomes in arriving at the solution. Paris de Fermat convinced Pascal that in order to solve the problem correctly, all possible outcomes must be considered. It was now possible to determine the distribution of the stakes. Player 1 should be given 75% and player 2 should get the remaining 25%. The answer lies in the ability to predict the future based on likely outcomes alone. Ultimately, the share of stakes that is received by a player should be proportional to his or her probability of winning if the game were to continue at the point of stopping. The solution should not be based on the number of points already won, but on the extended series of points to determine the share of the winning. The growth of probability. In 1812, Paris and De La Place introduced new ideas into his book, Theory of Analytic Des Probabilities. Before La Place, probability was solely based on games of chance, but he applied this theory to many specific and many scientific and mathematical problems. Some examples of these are theory of errors and statistical errors. Probability has been applied in areas of mathematical mathematical statistics, genetics, psychology, economics, and engineering. Christian Hu Huygens applied probability theory in an attempt to calculate the life expectancies and set the stage for the introduction of insurance as a risk management tool. Paul Erdos, born in Budapest, Hungary, on March 26, 1913, died in Warsaw, Poland, on September 20th, 1996. Paul Erdos was a Hungarian freelance mathematician. Freelance mathematician means ex experiences with many different types of math. Paul's family. Paul Erdos had two sisters who died the day he was born due to scarlet fever. One was age three and the other was age five. Scarlet fever is a fatal disease that ran in his family. Paul Erdos' mother believed Paul might have it too, which kept Paul out of school till he was age around 10. His dad was a Russian prisoner of war, and his mom worked long hours to support the family. Now, he has two sons who are math teachers. While his mom was at work, Paul found his way into the math field by looking in through his parents' math books, and he just fell in love with with the subject. At age 10, his mom sent him to school and saw numbers as his friends and he could rely on them. At age 3, he entertained his mother's friends by multiplying three-digit numbers in his head and telling them the answer. 
and at age four, he discovered negative numbers. In 1930, at age 17, Paul attended Peter Pasmia University in Budapest. He graduated in four years with a PhD in mathematics. As a freshman, he made a name for himself by solving a simple proof of Shebrychev theorem. In 1934, he left Hungary and attended the University of Manchester. After attending the University of Manchester for four years, in 1938, Paul, Paul Erdos traveled to the United States. He visited many colleges around the world like Princeton, Notre Dame, John Hopkins, John Hopkins, all those colleges gave him full-time job offers, which would be allowing him to work with anyone at any time, making him a legend in the math community. He returned to Hungary and the U.S. often. The U.S. believed he was a spy for the communists, and Hungary believed he was a spy for the U.S. during the Cold War. When Paul was in his office, he never waited for people to come come up to him and talk to him about math. He approached people and said, my mind is open. Paul Erdos and probability. Paul Erdos used problemis- probabilistic number theorem, which is a subfield of the number, th- number theorem using probability. It believes that uh, if you have a like, class of numbers, like if you have 1 through 20 and you pick, say, 7 uh, the first try, that probability of you picking seven the second time is very unlikely probability today today probability is used in sports in determining the weather in games and recreational activities and in insurance options in sports athletes and coaches use probability to determine the best sports strategies for games and competitions A baseball coach evaluates a player's batting average when placing him in the lineup. For example, if a player has a 200 batting average, which means he has gotten two hits out of every 10 bats, versus a player with a 400 batting average, which is even more likely to get a hit, they are more likely to play the player with the 400 batting average. This is how it is used by coaches. Or another example is if a high school football kicker makes 9 out of 15 goal attempts from the 40 yards line during the season, he has a 60% chance, which is shown right here by this fraction. In weather, sport probability is used nearly every day. Meteorologists can't exactly predict what the weather will be, so they use tools and instruments to determine the likelihood that it will rain, snow, or hail. For example, if there is a 60% chance of rain, then the weather conditions are such that 60 out of 100 days with similar conditions, it has rained. You may decide what to wear, such as clothes toe shoes rather than sandals, to take an, or to take an umbrella to work. Meteorologists also examine historical databases to guesstimate high and low temperatures and the probable weather patterns for that day or week in previous years. In games and recreational activities, probability is used when you can when you play board games, card games, or video games that involve lu- that involve luck or chance. You must weigh out the odds of getting the cards you need in poker, for example, or the secret weapons you need in a video game. The likelihood of getting those cards or tokens will determine how much of a risk you're willing to take. For example, if the odds are 46.3 to 1 that you'll get three of a kind in your poker hand, approximately a 2% chance according to Wolfram Math World. But the odds are approximately 1.4 to 1 or about 42% that you'll actually get one pair. Probability helps you assess what is at stake and determines how you will play the game. And lastly, insurance options. Probability plays an important role in analyzing insurance policies to determine which plans are best for you and your family, or what deductibles you will need. For example, when choosing a car insurance policy, you use probability to determine how likely it is that you will need to file a claim. For example, if 12 out of every 100 drivers or 12% of drivers in your community have hit a deer in the past year, 
you'll likely want to consider comprehensive, not just liability, insurance on your car. You might also consider a lower deductible. If average repairs after a deer-related accident runs $2,800, you don't have an out-of-pocket funds to cover the expenses. This would not be a good insurance plan for you to choose.